Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Grim Cinderella Challenge. Uh, this is part 14, maybe? You can hear the sound of a ghost, and my audio is too loud for me to hear and think and do. There we go. Um, yeah, so Sandra is around here somewhere. I don't really know where. And I- oh, I heard her. She's yelling about something. And Elizabeth has to pee, but she doesn't want to go use the dirty potty. Go use it or else you're gonna pee yourself. That's that's just how it is. Them's the breaks. So today is Snowflake Day. Ambrose got a decent uh, holiday bonus. What's the problem? Is this lamp broken? Something in here is like crackling. As though it's broken. I don't know what it is. Not a freaking clue. But such is life. Why don't you go ahead and get cleaned up? And then you can eat. Actually, fill Sandy's food, and then you have to clean out the bad food, and then you can eat. And, um, I'm gonna have her hang out with Davy today. Oh, there's Sandra. Share secret. There's Sandra. Ambrose, you feel like talking to, uh, your wife's spirit? I love how the ghosts actually walk up the stairs. It's really funny. How the duck! girls doing? <laughs> Vivian, you got away with people. Oh, they're going to have fun. Now she needs to do her homework after this. So go ahead and do your homework. And then, yeah, she's gonna hang out with Davy. Oops, that's broken. And I'm setting the alarm on my phone. That's what you're hearing. That's what you're hearing. I know, it's awful. You're hungry and everything is just the worst. There you go. Go ahead and eat. She doesn't even know her mother's ghost is, like, floating around here. Alright, after you do that, you're gonna turn in your homework. And, uh, get a hold of Davy and see if he'll come over. Elizabeth finally got to work on redoing the room she shares with Ambrose. He's fine. He doesn't care whatever she does. He's like, yeah, you can put as many pastels as you want. I don't care. But she's got to redo the columns up here. And there's still so much. So, so much to do. And she got new finishings for the bed, but she wants to have it repainted. All right, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do because of the pathing of this house. I am not going to have them throw a holiday party. Unfortunately, I just don't I don't want to deal with that. All right, so she's gonna get her homework done and then go. Um, she's not handy. Okay, I want you to call her a repair technician. And is there a computer upstairs? No. That's our only computer. She could go to the library and turn it in. Hmm. Yeah, you can invite, uh, invite out and go to the library and maybe they can have a nice date. Because it's snowflake day. And they don't need to know that her room is an absolute mess. What's everybody up to? They love each other so much. As a family. He's gonna go in and complain to her. Oh, no, that didn't happen. Yeah, they're having a nice chat. He's trying. He's like, ah. Uh, you know, my current amazing wife wants me to be nice to you, so. I will. Yeah, I redid the room upstairs and I completely forgot to redress Elizabeth. I'm sorry, guys. I'm super tired. But I'm excited to be playing this and recording this. Um, where's the library? Oh, I should have looked beforehand. Uh, hospital. Oh, that's a health spa. School. Bookstore. Uh, this must be it, yeah. 
Yep. Okay. Oh god, into the void. Alright, let's go meet there. She's tired and sleepy, but she's gonna turn on her homework. And she's gonna spend some time hanging out with Davy. She told her her uh, parents that she's going to... Oh, Ambrose, why don't you go to that party? Um, yeah, she told, uh... She told them that she's going to the library to turn in her homework, and they were like, well, fine, we can't have the school questioning whether or not we treat you well, so go turn in your homework while the computer's being repaired. Because they don't want um, the local government coming down on them and saying, hey, why is your kid always dirty? Why is she always hungry? She appears never to have had any sleep. Why is that? <laughs> Hey, I got a question. Do you abuse your child? You know, all of those things that uh, aren't ideal, I suppose. So, friendly, ask about day. And then... Romantic, cold hands. And we just need to run in and um, download our homework. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it to an A. I'm not positive. That was a cute library. And actually, we're going to queue up an action after that so he doesn't think that we're ditching out on him. Now, Ambrose, how you doing? He's like, ah, I'm hungry. I'm eating. You at someone's party? Oh, did they put out food? Okay, they did put out food for people. There we go. So we're not being absurdly rude. Just kind of rude. This is a big house. And none of the textures are loading yet. Come on, guys. Yeah, it's a nice house, though. Alright, Maggie is currently getting that all set up. And then we're going to have her go to a different lot with her date. She has a little bit of money, um, but she's trying to save up to get out of the uh, out of her living situation, so I don't think she's going to want to take him for food, although she does kind of want to hide um, her particular situation, I guess you could say. We're not going to go to the retreat. Let's go... Um, Can they go to like a class or anything fun? There's a sim, uh, yeah, but I don't know if it's gonna let her take him. Hmm, they could go to the karaoke place. Karaoke, come on, there we go. Yay! She submitted her latest assignment and gotten a new one. She got two days. I don't know if we can get her to an A, but we'll see. Why are there green people here? Are there green people in Hidden Springs? Come on, Davey. Now these yokels are at home. We don't really care what they're up to. Oh, Elizabeth's checking out her wrinkles. She's feeling a little upset. Where are you going? There's no mirror downstairs. Elizabeth, what are you doing? What are you two doing? They're always at each other's throats. He was paid 574 simoleons. The repair guy finally finished. And, okay, we're at this place. Why don't you sing with Davy? Go ahead, it'll be cute. What they need to do is have a video of this, like they do at a normal uh, karaoke bar. I always want to say it correctly, but then people look at you kind of oddly, so it's be karaoke, but then like you sound like a jerk. Oh, Carl Abbott. He's handsome. He's got swag. After they sing, they should take a picture together. So the music is playing. There we go. Oh, I think I turned my music back on. No, I didn't. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, man. <laughs> he 
This guy is coming in like, yep. I'm not even gonna touch that. So cute. Okay, then they're gonna go and take romantic photos. And I always have trouble with the domino table. There, she's gonna treat him to romantic photos and a game of no wait. We'll cue that up later. Actually, maybe they'll play a uh, pool to see if we can chase those other guys off of the pool table. She's like, oh, I gotta be. Yeah, don't pee yourself on your date. And of course she can't tell, uh, because it's a Thursday. She's not supposed to be out today, other than for school. So she's just going to tell them that she kept studying. She's not going to admit that, you know, she went out and had a good time and hung out with Davey. She knows that there isn't a chance that she's going to be moving out anytime soon unless she finds a way to get some money. Because honestly, she just can't afford it at this point. Even, you know, with spending this $10 on pictures, I mean, that's, that's nothing. It's really nothing. Are you being solipsistic over here? She's brooding. Alright, so she's going to go pee. And then take a lovely picture. All right, get going. Davy didn't leave, did he? Oh, he's up here playing. Come on, Davy. Then she's got to get home and clean up so that they don't re realize the fact that she's uh. You know, hasn't done what she's supposed to today. Oh, dare not, Weeby! Then she's gonna end the date. He's hungry. Can you get a cute little picture? Okay, we're gonna put that up in our room. Say bye! That was fun. Thanks for taking the time to hang out with me. Alright, go on. Go home. Hearts all a flutter. Oh my, you never thought you'd use a flutter in a sentence, and yet, who knew dates could go so incredibly well? That's sweet. They had a good time. Just nice, good natured fun. He's not aware of her situation. He doesn't know what kind of hell she, uh, or in which she resides. Ambrose is just here being weird. Um,. So, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Go introduce yourself properly. Stop rocking out. She's going to use the toilet. As Elizabeth seems to be doing nothing today other than whining and using the toilet. Although, you know, honestly, I can't blame her because they, those dermatologists, they mess you up. Uh, no, he, she doesn't want to go on a date. She's not going to cheat on her husband. She knows she's got it too good. No, seriously, like, I am 31 years old. And I've had several dermatologists be like, you know, oh, well, you're so pale and you have to eat a diet high in sugar. So, you know, and because you're so sensitive to the sun, you're going to want to start doing anti-aging stuff. And, and I'm like, oh, I don't think I look that old. And they're like, no, but you gotta do it before you do start to look old. And then you start to, like, flip out. Because I'm not super vain, but I'm so pale that I think it's gonna look horrifying if I do start to look really... It's it's one of those... It just gets in your head. It just gets in your head. Oh, did you pull a prank? Oh, she's scolding her precious Liza. This is a great opportunity for, uh... For Missy here to... What happened? Oh boy. Yeah, this is a great opportunity for Maggie to come on and, and be like, Oh yeah, I've totally been here. I'm just about to come up and fix the sink. I'm gonna fix the sink and then mop up the puddle and then uh, continue cooking this, please. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, but I'm gonna actually... We gotta get rid of this if she's gonna cook. Um... Let's see if it lets me just drag this out into the garbage. Nope, but... I don't want to cancel the actions I've already queued up for, her, so we're going to delete that. Oh, she's sending precious Liza for a timeout, too. Alright, so then she'll be able to finish cooking that. She's improved her handiness to level 4. And unfortunately, she can't sleep or eat until this is all set, so... And everything else is actually not too bad. She's going to have to clean the toilet tomorrow. Since it's not done, they're probably going to dock her her pay because the bathroom is dirty. What's happening here? There you go. She's going to keep cooking. She knows that when she's out of school and doesn't have to do homework anymore or worry about any of that, she's going to be able to get the housework done some more. She's more confident in lying to them now. They want to light the fireplace, but they can't because the lamp is on top of that, and you know what? That's okay. That's a-okay. Alright. She's gonna, like, sneakily eat while they're not looking. And after you eat, please clean this up. And put away the leftovers. There we go. Okay, Liza's mood swing has gone away. Elizabeth is still very much in her midlife crisis. Come home. Don't don't stay past your welcome in their house. Okay, why don't you go to sleep? And she's going to bed. Yeah, cause she's starting to get pretty miserable. And her room is a nightmare mess, so she's going to have to try to sleep dealing with that. Um, repair your shower when you get up. And then she needs to clean Sandy's cage. Maggie's starting to feel sick. Of course she is. She's got so much on her plate and so much she has to do. What are you doing, Ambrose? Do I need to reset you? Who is crying? Do I need to reset you? Oh, he's gonna pee himself. Well, you know, such is life. Go ahead. Are we waiting for people to come, like, watch him pee himself? Oh, that's not good. You're a businessman. Yeah, well, pee and leave. <laughs> it's Ambrose's version of cut and run. Ambrose is like, well, just humiliated myself at a party. Whoops. <laughs> Wee. It's kind of fun when it's going on fast. Oh god, that's horrible. No, 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 no. That's horrible. <laughs> Alright, well, you're filthy. I'm sure your wife is going to love this. You're crawling up into bed. Just absolutely disgusting. She's going to check her wrinkles again. Not happy. Liza is currently in the process of getting up. Her mother's going to tell her a story, probably about her youth or something like that. Like, oh, when I was young and feeling much more beautiful. Of course, she's still amazingly beautiful. Vivienne's going to chat with Davy. Maybe Vivienne's going to try to cause some problems. We'll see. What's happening here? Scare. You know, you're really kind of... <laughs> you and your other daughter are kind of a mixed bag. 
Oh, Ambrose is a mess. He's filthy. And wants food. He's gonna have a liquid breakfast. Because that's what we have here in this household. Lots of drinking. It's Ambrose's birthday. Oh, it's been a snow day, so handy. Maggie still has to do her schoolwork. Let's put up this picture of she and the handsome Davy. We'll get a closer look once the lights are on. Go ahead and get up, please. Oh, and she's in a bad mood. So I guess we don't want to cross her. You can't skip school, baby girl, because there's no school today. We'll start promising some other wishes. She wants to get a seesaw. This is like a Peter Pan complex. I'm gonna clean Sandy's cage. Wait. Um. Take Sandy. And clean. Alright. And then we're gonna put away Sandy. Put away Sandy. Oh boo. <laughs> Toe bear. Go ahead. And then we're gonna fill Sandy's food. Arjune. And then we are going to clean the house, please. He's in a bad mood. He's going to take it easy for now. <laughs> Elizabeth, always being so helpful. You too. Go home. Go home. Okay. Maggie is still getting things cleaned up, and then she's got to go see her mother's grave today. I can't remember if we did it last time, so I'll try to remember to have her do it twice this time. It's been a while between when I recorded this and then... Oh, yeah. Oh, pictures of them smooching and being adorable. So cute. And she's getting everything all tidied up. We'll just follow her on her cleaning exploits. What are these two up to? Elizabeth is checking out her wrinkles. She's obsessed. Why don't you go ahead and play chess with your sister? You hate each other, so it'll be hilarious. And they're like, oh, nice to see you, Maggie. Nice to see that you're finally actually doing the things you're supposed to do. How kind of you. This house is just going to be a pastel wonderland. Elizabeth, you're just going to have to chill while she cleans that up. Maggie's got it covered. Go away. She's like, get out of here. I'm cleaning. Oh, she's doing that and then she's... Oh, she doesn't need to do that. Oh good, she's continuing. She just had to pee really badly. Hmm. You've just got to give the sisters something to do. We don't know that many of Davy's traits. I'm going to want to find those out. Okay, so that's all clean. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and make autumn salad, but then you're going to put it away and um, go eat some in your room and get showered up. Okay. Come on, you can do it. You're amazing. I lied, though. I don't want you to do that. 
Put away the leftovers. Oh, it, yeah, I know. Put away the leftovers. Ambrose left to work with 506 simoleons. It's amazing that they would actually pay him. Oh, there's the alarm. And then she's going to go ahead and eat that spaghetti with veggie sauce so it doesn't go bad. And get cleaned up. And uh, next time we'll have her call Davy. So, yeah. Um, thanks very much for watching. I, uh, I really appreciate it. And you're all awesome. And I'm really just kind of at a loss for what to say right now because I'm kind of tired. Yeah, but this was fun. I had fun. Um, I may be transfer or like conferring this into the like um, a, f a continued fairy tale challenge. Okay, he got a promotion to division manager. Um, so like it'd be sort of like the Disney one, except not Disney. It would be the like either Grimm's or various uh, versions of said fairy tales in the actual challenge, like the, the one that's been listed as the Disney one next is Fa Mulan. That's uh that's a conceivability. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So there you have it. Cool. Um, that's pretty much it. Mm. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And I will mm. see you in the next episode. Oh, and I do remember she has to go pray at her mother's grave. So, We'll do that before she goes to sleep. Okay, so see you next time. Thanks. Bye.